Right, I'm a bit more awake than when you last saw me. It's probably, how, what time is it, Hats? Six o'clock? Um, yeah, six o'clock. Six o'clock, so it's about 12 hours from when we left you. And Penny has been doing a really good job. She's looking a bit brighter. She's had a rest as well. I'll just show you these puppies. Oh, it's feeding time. So she's been doing a really good job of feeding them and keeping them clean. And now we're just gonna go through them all. We're going to weigh them. We're gonna pop a little collar on them so we can identify them later and we don't get mixed up. And we're gonna check them for any congenital abnormalities. So that would be things like abdominal hernias, cleft palates, and anything similar that they'd be born with which might cause some issues later. So I think that'd be easier said than done with these little wriggly creatures. So we'll get into it and uh, you guys will see how we go. Mm. The towel that you use. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, that's okay. good. So what I'm checking there is I'm checking for cleft palates. So that's where the hard palate between the mouth and the nose is incomplete. Because it causes issues when they inhale milk. I'll start. And then I'm also checking at their belly buttons. But they've got no hernias, which is nothing so far. Okay. Right, and then so this one. Is this one a dog? So that one is that exactly four. four. Exactly four. Yeah, I'm just sort of wriggling. It's four. I, I call it four t no. twenty. I mean, it's between four and four and four twenty, isn't it? Each. So the idea is it should hopefully double their birth weight. They'll be a bit heavier even than last night. Mm -hmm. Should double their birth weight in. A week. Crocs on as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice Crocs hats. <laughs> Thank you very much. them all weighed, all checked for any nasty abnormalities and all with collars on. So we will see whether those collars stay on. I'm a bit skeptical. I wanted to clip a patch of fur out of each one to denote which ones they were, but we'll give them a chance with the collars, see how they go. And uh, this is just something for you. Look how resilient dogs are compared to humans. Pen, Penny. Oh, she's going for a wee. Penny, come here. Out and about, as if nothing's happened, she spat out eight puppies less than 24 hours ago, running around. Anyway, we'll catch up with you later once the puppies are a bit older. Right, we're back. 
it is just over three weeks since Penny had those puppies. Here she is, Penny. She has got her figure back. She's milking like a Holstein cow. But at three weeks or just over, it's time for these puppies to have a bit more space of their own. <laughs> a bit more space of their own. And for Penny to have a bit of respite from them. So we've got our top secret location puppy trailer. This is a trailer trash. Uh, so, and this is a divider. We, and by we, I mean Fraser, adjusted, made earlier today. So we're gonna pop this in. You can see it has a partition like that. The, uh, we're just gonna leave it down so Penny can hop over each side. So when she wants to feed the puppies, she can go in with the puppies. And when she needs a bit of a break, she can hop back out. So we're just gonna put it in place now. She's out for a little run around, enjoying the time off. Uh, and me and Hats will get this in. <laughs> right, yes. let's go get this thing. Yes. This is my best. In. Okay, hold on. Just yeah, yeah. There you go. Try it in first. Okay. <laughs> So the other thing about puppies this age, about three weeks, is they start to eat solid food, which will be welcome news for Penny because she's been feeding them herself entirely for these three weeks. So we've got some puppy food. We'll just start to offer it to them and hopefully soon they will learn. Now that's what they eat, they eat solid food and they'll gradually make the transition from milk to solid foods. Get a bit on your finger. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just sit down Look at this, they're eager. Oh, which one's this one? This one's Nala. This is Will's. Should I just give them that much? The, that's it, and that's it. Just yeah. so it's yeah, not too much yeah. in their system. <laughs> Who wants some food? Do you want to try some? Do you want to try some? I'm going to get out now. <laughs> this no, one is no. searching that corner. But they love it. <laughs> so that, I was very impressed by that. They knew exactly what to do. No hesitation. We were wondering if Penny has actually been regurgitating a bit of food for them because they seem to know exactly what to do. <coughs> that they'll be helping themselves in a second. Oh. Should, should, should we get a little bowl? Well, I think that's a bit big actually. We're back. I think for the final time, what a journey it has been. It's early August 
pups eight weeks old and the first ones are going today. They're sort of going in dribs and drabs, not all going at once. Probably to Penny's frustration, she's pretty much done with them now. They're more or less weaned, getting the very occasional drink and they are proper little brutes now. Uh, all going, well, nearly all going to homes in Northumberland or North Yorkshire, so not far away. One is making the trip down to the uh, land of the free, home of the brave, all the way down in Essex. But apart from him, they're all going to homes locally. In fact, one is even staying here. So let's have a look at them. Before they go though, there's one last thing to do and that is get their first vaccination and they'll get, <clears throat> they'll get another one in four weeks time. That's just to protect them from the common infectious diseases uh, that dogs can get. It's a sensible thing to do. So I'm just waiting for Hattie just to come along and restrain them and then it won't be long before the first one's away. And like that, they were gone. So almost all of the puppies are now at their new homes. And the reason I say almost is because there was a slight hiccup, having everything having gone smoothly all the way through for the entire eight weeks. One little puppy had to stay with us for a bit longer. And here he is. We've called him Teddy for now. We've got a few people interested, so hopefully it won't be long before he goes. He just needed a little bit more TLC when he was meant to go. So one of his brothers went in his stead. Penny is much, much happier having just this one to contend with and I don't blame her. She's put a bit more condition on. She's looking a lot happier, a lot sleeker. So well done to Penny. If you've made it this far, first of all, well done. You must like the sound of my voice as much as I do. Secondly, if you're remotely considering breeding from one of your dogs, I've got one 
piece of advice, and that is go and do your homework. That should mean before any mating, going and talking to your small animal vet, talking about hip scoring, elbow scoring, eye check, any blood tests that might need to be taken for genetic conditions, about whether really there's the demand for the puppies. There's lots of other good resources. Again, I'll stick the online ones in the video description. Um, this, this is an excellent book, slightly provocatively named Book of the Bitch. It's an oldie but a goldie. It's written by a vet and a breeder. It gives lots of useful information in straightforward, plain talking English. So if you're thinking about having a litter, my advice is buy the book, go and talk to your vet. That's it from us. See you next time.